welcome everyone to a whole brand new video we're not doing a vlog for today we're going to do a video on what i don't like about the c63s amg coupe five things there are plenty of things that uh, kind of bothered me over the year of ownership and i'm going to go over them and see if you guys agree or disagree you can say in the comments you know don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the bell ring the bell we'll go over with the shout outs toward the end of the video uh, but continue to watch and I will say what I don't like about this car. So brake dust. This car produces a disgusting amount of brake dust and it sucks because you want to keep the wheels clean as much as you can but it's just not possible to have these clean all the time unless you don't brake which I highly suggest not doing in your AMG. These are the non-ceramic rotors. They're still AMG performance brakes and I know the ceramics make less uh, brake dust but that's just how the nature of a ceramic uh, disc is. So these have a little bit more than if you were to option for a carbon ceramic. When I purchased the car, there was only a few in the United States that were already built to spec that I wanted. And unfortunately, they did not have the carbon ceramics on these. I did not want to wait, you know, four or five, six months, however long it takes to get a build slot and then wait for the car to be produced. Uh, especially when 2019s were going to be coming in anyways. By the time I would get that car, uh, 2019s would already start probably shipping in the United States. You know, as much as I hate the brake dust, I can get the wheels cleaned pretty much whenever I want now because the wheels are coated. So I can use a waterless wash, clean the face off, clean the inner rim off, and call it a day if I really need to, if it really bothers me. Other than that, you know, I come to Driven Auto Styling and get a nice wash and it looks great. So that's the number one thing that I hate about this car. So, the second thing that I hate the most about this car are the seats. As much as I love how they look and how uh, tight they are around your body, I drive a lot on the highway. I drive around, you know, three to six hours to, to get home or to get to some places I also call home. And the seats suck after a couple hours. There's a lot of support. There's a lot of adjustments that you can make with the seats, which is nice, which makes it a lot better than like regular buckets like you find in a Performante or you find in a G2 RS. But the thing that sucks is as much as they look cool, I kind of would have preferred the comfort seats, just how much highway driving that I do. As I noted before, I have 28,000 miles on my car and within one year. So I drive it a lot and I do a lot of highway driving. So comfortability is not so great, especially in these seats. So trying to balance between comfortability and coolness factor, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to choose between the two. You know, as much as they suck, and as much highway driving as I do, I still think I would still choose the bucket seats just because of how cool they look. And, you know, you can't have a C63S AMG and not have the bucket seats. So as much as I don't like them, and one of the things I don't like about this car, I'd still choose them again if I had to order another car. So the other thing I mentioned in one of my other vlogs is the back seat. So in order to get the back seat, it's, it's not too difficult to get in. The issue comes in is the amount of room in the back seat. Well, simply there is no room in the back seat. It's very, very tight back here, especially for taller people. Um, I had a few other people that were kind of tall and they were very uncomfortable in the car. So since I don't really sit in the back seat, it doesn't really affect me. But if I have friends or other people that want to come in ride in my car, they actually ask to not ride in the back seat. Um, they asked if we could find someone else's car because the back seat is so tight. The reason why I went with the coupe though is because one, it is actually louder than the uh, regular C-Class sedan. I think in my opinion it looks a bit cooler. You know, it has that coupe look. Even though it's as big as the sedan, it's got that coupe fastback look and I prefer that over just a regular sedan. So the back seat is another dislike. It's not really a huge issue since I'm always in the driver's seat or at least in the passenger seat, never in the back. So the other thing that I dislike about this car is the Alcantara steering wheel. I love Alcantara and I think that material is one of my favorites for cars. I would have preferred a full Alcantara like the Edition 1. Um, because it just looks dope and it feels so nice. It doesn't get too hot like leather does, especially on a hot day like this. The one issue though is the degrading of the Alcantara. And I don't know if you can see this well, but it over time, especially after one year driving 28,000 miles, the Alcantara is degrading just from the chemicals from my hands. And I do not want to use gloves every time I drive this car. So I kind of have to deal with it. Uh, Alcantara is nice and a sweet material. But for a steering wheel, I would have preferred maybe just having the top Alcantara and the bottom Alcantara and then have these sides 
leather. Uh, so that way when I'm driving, usually I drive like this. I don't touch the Alcantara, but you can still see Alcantara. It looks nice and it doesn't really degrade over time like it does on the actual handles of where you hold the steering wheel when you drive. So the other thing that I actually don't like about this car is the rear end. As much as I love the coupe fastback look, as I mentioned before, the thing about this is that it just kind of looks bulbous, kind of like more, a little bit awkward than the W204 uh, C63 coupe, which I think that rear end looks a lot better than the W205. I love the front end more, but the back end could use a lot of work. And Mercedes, what's up with these bumper humps? This is almost as bad as the Chiron. And that thing looks terrible with the US bumper specs, which I found out is more about insurance rather than federal regulation. You can take these off, but if you get into an accident, Godspeed. So that wraps up my video on what I don't like about this car. Look out soon for the video on what I actually do like about this car. I think overall, I love the car. I would not trade it. And I'm very glad that I purchased this. And my previous cars, which were a Audi S4 2019 B9, and I also had a 2014 Corvette C7 that I owned for three years that I never did a video on. <laughs> those two cars were my main cars, and then I decided to go with something that's combined both of those cars into one, and this car was the outcome, and I definitely made the right choice. And you'll see when I go over the video of what I like. So that's it for today. Uh, look out for that video. As I said, I'm going to do the regular vlog shout outs where I say, do what Rob the Ball says. You hit the bell, ring the bell, subscribe. Do what Rob the Ball says again. Shout out to my boy Sean Don Quan, my boy Tarp, my boy Ray, my boy Dane. That's pretty much it for the shout out. So look out for the next video and I'll see you guys soon.